Welcome, we're going to be working in Scratch. So to start off with, you're going to go to scratch.mit.edu and you're going to have to make a new Scratch account. So you're going to have to come up with a Scratch username. Can I suggest you basically put in PGS for Pulteney Grammar School and then whatever name you want. Um, and then choose a password and go through and fill out your details. Now, I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, the first thing I'm going to create is our Scratch Catch Game. So to start off with, we have our cat here. This is our, basically our build area. This is our, our programming choices. Uh, and over here is where we can put in our code. Now, Scratch is all about drag and drop. Um, so the first uh, first bit of code we're going to do is, let's change, first of all, change the background. So I go new background. So these are our choices down here. New background, and I want to choose a blue sky. I go OK, so I've got a new sky, cool. Now I want to look at this, I want a new Scratch uh, sprite, so I'm going to choose an apple. OK, from a new sprite area, let's move him out of the way. And, the and over here I'm going to start making some code. So up here we've got all different things, so motion, look, sound, um, data, events, and events we're going to go first. So when this is clicked, this means basically when the game started, we want the motion of the apple, so I'm clicking the apple, motion of the apple to be uh, go to, so this go to is move basically, and move to a random position. So I want the apple to fall from the sky, but I don't want it to be there, so I'm going to set y as 180. Now think of this as x and y, uh, sorry, x and y, so that means that when it goes to the top, it um, it, it will go around a position, but then go to the top of the screen. So if it go, you can see there. If it go, it will go, and it will just keep going to a random position. Now that's fine, but very boring game. It's not even really a game. So now we want to actually get the thing to fall down. So let's just create a new one. Here we go. When this is is clicked forever, so that means always do this. I want to change y. All right by minus five. In other words, I want it to fall. All right, so let's just try that. Here we go. So it's falling. However, I've got nothing to make it go back to the top. So let's let's change this. If so, if that's an if statement. It's, it's basically asking a question, and then I'm going to say here, and I'm going to go. Y position. Okay, so if Y is less than minus 170, then I'm basically going to do this again and go to the top. All right, so hit basically, if I hit go, I've got, it's going to go to a random position and, then just, and fall. If it gets down too low, it goes to a new random position. Now, just to clean this up, if I'm going to I don't really need both of these, so I'm going to pull this off and so we'll do it to start off with and then keep repeating it. Okay, so move that actually. I don't even think I need any of that. Let's get rid of that. So just continue from wherever it is. Okay, and so it just cleans up our code. Now, next thing we want is to have a bowl at the bottom to catch it. Now, we don't really need this cat, so let's just delete that. Let's add in a bowl. Oh, looking for a bowl. Bowl, look at here. Bowl. Okay. All right. So I have a bowl down the bottom. All right. And I want to move it left and right. So when this is clicked forever, it means we're always doing this. If sensing, if I press uh, left. Then I want to I want to change x by minus ten. Right, it's supposed to move faster than the apples. All right, so left moves minus ten, but also we want to do right as well. So if all right, if I press right, then I'm going to change x by ten. So again. So now I can actually go across, but it's not actually interacting. They're both two sprites that are just working side by side. 
All right, so let's try the next bit. So next bit is we actually want to get this to do something a bit more interesting. All right, so let's go back to the apple. And we've got, let's make a new one. Forever, so event, when we start, forever, if, and sensing, touching, not the mouse pointer, but touching the bowl. Then I want to make a pop sound. And and then I want to go back up to the top. Right. Now really, we can actually put both these together. All right, so let's just try it to start off with. There we go. There we go, it's just popping now. So we've got if change, but we've got here, if the position is there, I reckon I can put that all in there as well. That would be exactly the same. Yep. So now our code is when I start, make the apple fall by five, so by minus five. If it gets to the bottom, then go to the top. Or if, and if it's touching the bowl, then go to the top. All right. So that's all. That's all good. Now, so we could do that for a long time, but it's not really much of a game. So let's create a score. Okay. So we'll put the score on the apple. And we're going to say, um, first of all, we have to set the score to zero, right, at the beginning of the game. And then, if touching the bowl, I'm going to pop and change the score by one. All right, so let's try it now. Oh, there we go. Good. Okay. Now, we've got here, if I want to say, I'll if I make some more apples, I can just duplicate this. All right. All right, so now, okay, so we've got lots of apples. They're all falling at the same speed. That's a, that's a big problem. So let's go to apple two and say, well, let's change this one to be minus four. And let's change this one to be minus six. So now, it's a bit more of a game. Okay. But how about we instead, we'll just make one more apple. How about this time, for this apple, we change the way it looks, right? So let's make it a golden apple. So we've gone to script from scripts to costumes, and I'm going to fill this in as a golden apple. Okay. So I said set score to zero, that's no worries. Really, you don't actually need that on all of them. I probably should take it off. It doesn't matter, but let's just get rid of it. And it's only the main the first apple that sets the score to zero. All the others change by one. But the apple, we, let's change the score to be well we can either be positive or negative, like so I could say the apple's good or the apple's bad. In this case, oops, not the wrong apple. In this case, let's make the apple bad. So minus five. So if you get the, the golden apple, you lose five, which you can see there. Okay. Okay, and the last thing we can do, we'll go back to the apple. I want to say, uh, when this is clicked, Oh, I see. Let's make a new sprite. Okay, and I'm just going to go text and go you one. That's terrible. There we are. And we want that to be font. Okay, I want that to be bigger. Now, just to make sure, it, I want that in the middle of the screen. So we click up here and we click on, oops. yeah, good. good. Okay, now we need a script here. So here, when this is clicked, what we can do is we can just hide it. So you don't see it. And then let's go, wait, wait until, yeah, wait until, um, Score. 
point until the score is greater than 10. And then we're going to say show. And we're going to go stop all. Right, so it's a really important one. Stop all. Right, so let's try it. So if I can get to 10. There we go. Now let's see how we've gone greater than, because otherwise it, gets, it got to jump to 11. And we don't get anything, because it will just keep on going forever. Now, you could do this. You could do this very simply. Um, you could change this to maybe this is a half and the others are um, other fractions, or maybe this is, you know, uh, and it says you have to get all the halves, uh, or maybe you have to get something that's 50% or so on. Um, now, one last, pro, uh, one last thing you can do is you can actually have costumes. So I might uh, have different costumes, so the apple doing different things. So maybe this one I might delete this and put in some text and go a half go bigger actually I don't want to make too big that's too easy to catch all right I'm just going to do that do a text and go um, um, three uh, two over four because right, technically it's still Still a half. All right. So now in the script, you might go. You might actually get it to go next costume. All right. So if I go looks and we go next costume, it means that after something's happened, it's going to go to the next costume. So, so see, it's a half, and now it's two over four. It's a half. So you can have lots of costumes, but it all actually means um, it actually means the same thing. Whereas the others might be uh, a third and two thirds, or or three quarters, or something. Yeah. All right. So that is how to build the catch game. Now there's lots of other features you can do in here as well. For example, you might just for fun go you know what, forever and then motion ten. So now I've actually got apple turning. Right. Maybe the golden one you get turned the other way. Right. But so to do this, I can just drag this onto here. And now the code's gone to all of them. Go over that. I'm going to make the apple turn the other way. The golden apple turn the other way. Just to. Okay. And that is how to make the catch game.